Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a really cool trap for some servers, like a faction server if you play on one, and you can get a lot of stuff by using this, and it's 4 by, well, as long as you want, but it's activated just like that, and as you can see, everything fell, and then it went down there, and if you want, you can make that as deep as you want, really, so it could kill them and collect all their items if you set up hoppers or something. The one issue with this is, well, actually two issues, um, you have to use sand or gravel, so pretty much you have to be in a desert or somewhere with a lot of sand to use this, and the other thing is you have to reset it every time you use it, but if you don't mind those two things, then just keep watching this video, so let's get started. Alright, to build this, you're just going to need to first find your location, uh, as you have noticed, I'm just going to build it in between these two hills. It's better to do this because it's a little more concealed and not as obvious. Or well, actually no, it maybe makes it more obvious but it's easier for them to actually activate the trap. So yeah, in between some mountains or something would, you know, be the ideal location. And like I said before, you're probably going to want to build this in a desert or if there's a large amount of gravel somewhere then you can just put it there. So, in order to build this, first you're just going to want to delete one layer. Then, just on each side, we'll actually delete another layer. Then, on each side, just dig two in like that. then place some sticky pistons along that wall and then just do this on the other side now what you want to do is just place whatever block you're going to be using right there I'll just use some stone now just go behind the pistons so you're just going to need to dig down and kind of find them and just dig out a little area and keep digging until you get to the end of the pistons it's right there and then make it too deep now what you want to do is just place your redstone repeaters like that along all of those pistons and connect them to some redstone Then wherever the trip wire is going to be, just place it right there. Like, so I'm doing that. Or well, actually, I can come a little closer. So right there. And then right behind that, you want to get a redstone torch. And just place it right on the back side of that trip wire. So it'll activate it. And then dig below it and do that. That'll make it so all the pistons are activated until you actually activate it. And it'll pull in and drop the or sand. And then on this side, just do the same thing you have to go in and find the pistons. There it is. And just dig all the way. And then again, make it too deep. And then just place the repeaters. then just place your block and usually you want to make sure that these um, these whatever they're called uh, trip wire hooks are behind one block or two it doesn't really matter just make sure they're not sitting like that because then you can see them and makes the trap completely obvious so what I want to do is just put those up and then come over here do the same thing place it on the back side then place the redstone. And now it's activated on both sides, which is what we want. And to kind of cover up the areas that you've dug out. And then what you want to do is come over to the blocks that are pushed out and put a sign or any other block that will delete if the blocks retract. And it'll work. But signs work best because things like torches, you can see there are particles coming through the floor, which really gives away the trap or just makes it look really weird so you know I just like using signs even though they do take longer to place 
And now, finally, you just want to place sand over all of that. And now the trap should work. So, pretty much the way it works is, is, well, you'd be running away from somebody, and then when you would activate the trap, oh, well, I probably should get some trip wire itself. Yeah, I was just saying, so the person would be chasing you down, and you would activate, and they would fall. But you'd probably want that to be a little deeper. That's not going to be very effective. But, yeah, that pretty much does it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.